I was having a look into this Linux encoder malware. There's been a new version out and it's been news again recently. So the first version was released in about October time and what it did, it went around infecting web servers that were using the WordPress and Magento or Magento e-commerce plugins. So what would be the risk to the average Linux user? Put simply, no risk at all. Get on with your life, have a drink. I would say I'd be having a beer right now but I'm stuffed up with a cold and I'm not really feeling like drinking. So, I'm on the water tonight. So what the malware was doing was encoding all the documents on the web servers and it demanded payment of one bitcoin. So what's one bitcoin worth currently? 360 US dollars, 240 pounds. So this Dr. Web Russian antivirus website has a few tips on what you should do if you find your web servers have been encrypted and infected. Yeah, notify the police, mm, like they'll do anything. It's a worm going around the internet, it's not targeting websites, it's just going after anything that's vulnerable, that's the difference here. And because it's going after anything that's vulnerable, it's not targeting Linux specifically, it's just a vulnerability in an application that happens to be on a Linux web server. Not a vulnerability in the kernel itself. So there's a little bit more information about how it works. So it's actually requiring input from the attacker to get the malware to actually infect the server. And it uses a shell script. So you're not going around looking for a dodgy program to deliberately install. This is code injected into the web server. There's very little you can do about that, except this was a known vulnerability and has long since been patched. This is a list of the websites that you can find just using a Google search. Uh, it's about 2,200 results at the moment. And you can click on these text files here, and this is the virus infection. But the website is actually fully functional. Just go to the home page, and when you look at that, you wouldn't actually know it's an infected website. Is there anything dodgy coming down? No. Nope. Some people must have realised that their website is infected because they've gone and taken down the dodgy file and must have cleaned it all up. Yeah, that's all working. So there are two ways to mitigate against the Linux encoder malware. In fact, these tips go for any malware in general. And that's one, do regular updates, and two, keep regular backups. So even if you get infected, if you've got a backup you can roll back to, okay, you might lose a day or a few days worth of work, but what's that against the cost of a Bitcoin or against the loss of an entire data or web server? Well, only you can decide. Well, that was a bit of information about the Linux encoder malware. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.